Good day guys, Austin here, and in this one today, what we're going to be setting up is Launchbox. Now, Launchbox is an amazing front end, which, well, we all know about it, because I cover it near enough every week on my channel. It, it launches near enough every game and emulator and system ever known to man, and it does it with ease, it does it with simplicity, and it also looks good while it's doing it, which is probably one of its major draws. Now, when it comes to Launchbox, it can be limited in what it can do and that's because it is so simplistic so with its pros comes its cons now what we can do is add a already pre-configured rocket launcher setup now rocket launcher for those of you living on Mars for the last 10 years is a launcher of all kinds of emulators so if you've got your emulators and your games and everything to do with that kind of scene all on your system what rocket launcher can do is make them all work together in harmony now the excellent thing that it does is it can also be utilized various different front ends so if you've already got hyperspin set up or if you've got a I don't know a rocket launcher set up utilized in retro FE or game X or something along those lines what we can do is we can actually switch that setup so it can be utilized within launchbox so in this video today what we're going to be focusing on is setting up a system within launchbox so say for example you've already got launchbox set up and you want to add a advanced system onto it or you have not got launchbox set up and you just want to incorporate all of your pre-configured setups from another front end onto launchbox that's what we're going to be doing today <laughs> anyway guys without me waffling on let's just get stuck in eh Okay then guys, let's get Rocket Launcher working with our launch box. First thing, if you haven't got it already, is to get launch box set up on your system. Now this is a two second job. All you need to do is navigate to this site here, links in the description down below if you can't navigate to them yourself. And this is the actual launch box website. Along the top we've got all kinds of tabs to peruse at your own leisure. But what we're focusing on today is the download and install, so click on download. Enter your email here, make sure you put a legit one in because you will need to actually respond to it and get the download link once Launchbox sends you it. It's literally put it in here, click OK, a few minutes later you'll get a response back with the link to download Launchbox. It's not rocket science, it's probably the most simple uh, front end to set up on your system. All you need to do is tell it where to install and that's it, it's job done. Then you'll be up to the stage where we can actually start utilizing it. So for me, I've got it in my front end drive. And as you can see, I've got a various different front ends set up in cooling, in cooling, including Rocket Launcher. But what we're focusing on is Launchbox first. So whatever you've installed it, open it up. Now you may have shortcuts on your desktop, one for Big Box and one for Rocket Launcher. However, I'm going to do it this way because not everybody's setup is the same. Everybody should have at least two icons inside the folder itself, one for Big Box and one for Launchbox. So what we're going to be focusing on first is Launchbox. Open this up. Now if you've already got this set up, it may start different from you. If this is the first time you're launching this, then well, you'll probably get the same kind of greetings what I'm going to be getting. First off, you may be greeted with, would you like to update because yours is currently outdated. Please update because this function that I'm showing you today is only accessible to people using Launchbox version 6.7 and over. As you can see, the time of recording this is still in beta stage, but hopefully by the time you watch this, it'll be fully and stable and, well, you can use it as standard. However, you do need the latest version to be able to utilize what I'm going to show you. So once you've got it updated and it's restarted or if it is already update, you'll be greeted with this kind of box here, which is basically telling you what's been going on and well, keeping you updated. Once that's done then, exit out of here. Then if you've not already got system set up in launch box, you may be greeted with this. What I want to show you is the generic way that everybody can follow. So I'm going to exit out of here and do it the the proper way so this is launchbox this is what you'll be greeted with as you can see it's utilizing my wallpaper as the background at this moment because there's nothing populating it if you've previously been using launchbox and you've been using it on its own or whatever you may have systems populating the left hand side that you can navigate through do not worry they will not interfere with anything that you've previously set up unless you want it to everything can be utilized as its own the only thing that we need to do is get rocket launcher set up so the way we need to do this first off is go to the tools tab at the top here 
and click on manage emulators now as you can see I've already got rocket launcher set up here however this is a older version of rocket launcher one that I was utilizing before I updated so this is no longer usable by me so what I want to do is delete this yours could be blank or you may not have rocket launcher already set up there in this case this is what you need to do then click on the add button and up at the top here you open this box emulator details associated platforms auto hotkey scripts focus on this tab here and you'll end up with a drop down box here emulator name if you drop it down you'll have all kinds of the most popular emulators that are accessible well through everyone to be honest at this moment however one of the options if you've got the most up-to-date version will be rocket launcher click on that and as you can see it's got a little icon telling me uh, what I've just basically told you no need to do all the hard stuff because now they've made it so it does it for you so all these settings that you previously had to populate yourself go into the different settings of different platforms and stuff you don't need to do that anymore as you can see no longer required so in this case it's just a case of choosing rocket launcher as we just did click to the emulator application path so now what we need to do is tell it where rocket launcher is so in my case it's in my front ends drive it's in my rocket launcher folder and rocket launcher itself here now usually those experienced amongst you who have been using rocket launcher for some time rocket launcher ui is usually the one that you point everything to or you use yourself what we want this time is just the rocket launcher application file it depends on how windows is presenting this to you now it may be rocket launcher.exe but anyway this is the one we're using so <laughs> click on that and click open okay now we've added rocket launcher to our setup that is as easy as it is that's all you need to do basically we just need to tell it where it's at so once that's done click OK and as you can see rocket launcher is now populated in our manageable emulators you may have more in there you may have just that one doesn't make any difference you can now use rocket launcher to launch all the games that you previously had so what we need to do now is we've told launchbox where rocket launcher is and told it how to communicate with it now what we need to do is tell rocket launcher where launchbox is and to communicate with that so hands on hips let's do this <laughs> first off minimize this we don't need this at the moment in time what we want to do is focus on rocket launcher so navigate to wherever you've got rocket launcher installed in my case it's in again my front end drive navigate to the rocket launcher ui folder launch rocket launcher ui may take a few seconds by the way guys if uh, this is seeming laggy to anybody if it's non-responsive and stuff i've got literally about a thousand things going on with my pc at this moment in time it's moving terabytes of stuff it's installing things downloading things so things may not be as responsive as they should be it's not the programs or the emulators or the actual front ends it's my system it's being put to its knees by various different things okay then Right, what we need to do then is get this set up for our front end. So we've launched the Rocket Launcher UI. If we navigate on the top menu here to Rocket Launcher UI on, this, on the side here, you'll end up with two tabs, one settings and one front ends. What we need to do, again, like I said, we're gonna be adding LaunchBox to our Rocket Launcher setup so it knows how to, how to do business. So at this point, you may have rocket launcher in your list you may have hyperspin or one of the other front ends in there uh, you more than likely won't have launch box in there because that's why you're watching this <laughs> however let's get it set up so what we need to do to make this a usable front end is first off click on the add new front end button here give it a name we want to call this launch box launch box capital L capital B because that's the way we like to do business then what we need to do is tell it where launch box is so in this case we're gonna click on the magnification button and browse or peruse as some people say now go to wherever your front end is in other words launch box launch box and at this stage if you are a big box user in other words if you've purchased big box and you want to utilize all the features that's in there click this as your exe if you are using the free version and trust me guys it's perfectly good free everything I'm going to show you today is accessible for free people free people for people that's free I don't even know how to make that I'm not gonna you know what I mean 
Uh, click on this. Click on launch box if you want it to be free. Uh, big box. It's up to you guys. I'm not going to go into any detail here. I think it's a very good paid product. But everybody else, click launch box if you haven't already paid for it. But for me, because I've got it, click on big box. doesn't make any difference whatsoever. It just means that it's a lot more responsive if you choose what you're going to be using. So by all means, if you want to go for the free version and click launch box, use that. See if you like it. See if it's your cup of tea. If it is, then you can then purchase big box. It's up to you guys. But if you do choose to go for big box, then change your exe in this place here. Um, launch box UI plugin. What we want to be doing? Common sense launch box, and same again for this one. Launch box. Once that's done, then click on the disk box here, and what that'll do is it'll save and populate into the list here. Now, because I've already got this populated, I don't really want to confuse it and mess it around, so I'm going to exit out of here. Make sure you do yes, thank you and you'll end up in the list. Now at this point, you'll probably have a that kind of thing going on. So you're already utilizing one of your other front ends or rocket launcher itself. So you've got all kinds of systems set up in the left hand pane. Now what this is saying is that you've got all these systems currently active in whatever front end it is that you're using. So in this version of Hyperspin, I've linked to this. It must be my test version. I've got 32 different systems. Now, because I've got this already set up, in Hyperspin or one of my other front ends, I can actually utilize all the settings that I've already used for all these systems. So there's no need for me to go and start configuring Nintendo 64 again because it already knows where the ROMs are. It already knows the settings. It already knows the emulators, how to launch them, how I like to play it, blah de blah, all that kind of good stuff. So I don't need to reconfigure everything when I start launching it in Launchbox. However, what I need to do is tell it what systems I want to add. So at this stage, we click on the Launchbox, tell it that we want to use this as the default front end. So we click on the box here. Let me actually full screen this so you get more detail. Click on the front end that you want to be using, in this case, Launchbox. Click on sets default as the default front end and that will navigate this to this box populating it and we want to use it as the active front end now when i put this as the active front end these will disappear because at this moment in time i'm using a fresh install of um launch box but no i'm not because it looks like i previously had sega 32x already populated on the Jesus, I'm always catching myself out here, aren't I? But it proves the point that if you're already using a Launchbox existing profile or setup, then it knows exactly what's going on and proves that they're both talking to each other. So now, Launchbox is talking to Rocket Launcher and Rocket Launcher is talking to Launchbox. So if I add any of the systems that I've previously set up on Rocket Launcher, it will remember them and configure it to them. So yeah, let's set up another system on here then. Um, let's set up, I don't know, let's have a look. So navigate out of here, navigate to our launch box. Right, if this is the first time you've used launch box and you are previously using a various other front ends such as Hyperspin, RetroFE, and you're a member over at MU Movies or you've signed up there, I encourage you at this point to go to your cloud um, and you should have an option to sync to um, various different things such as MU movies and the actual database cloud. It's a case of just making various different accounts for Launchbox, all that kind of good stuff and it allows you extra features when you start adding systems. So that's for newcomers. For those of you old hands out there who've been doing this for a while, you've already got that set up anyway so no need to worry. Right, at this point then, click on tools and what we want to do is set up a system a system that's already enabled in rocket launcher but obviously we've got nothing on here at this moment in time so what i want to do is import a set of roms and utilize that with rocket launcher so the first thing i need to do is tell it where my games are that i want to add so in this case let's have a look see what i've got i'm going to go to uh, gaming drive got some roms in there Let's have a look at the system. I don't want to pick something too big because we're here all day downloading all the stuff for it. So what's a small system? Easy to set up. Uh, Sega Genesis or Sega Mega Drive, depending on what region you come from. Let's set this up. Okay, it's not exactly small, but it's not exactly massive as MAME or something like that, is it? Uh, once that's done then, click Next. 
Now, of course, it doesn't matter make any difference where your ROMs are or anything like that. It can, as long as you tell it where they are, it will find all of the ROMs within the folder that you've just given it. So I've just told it to look in the Sega Genesis ROM file that I've already got populated. Um, platform. In other words, what system is it that I want to add? What system are all these ROMs belong to? So I've just added it from my Sega Genesis folder. So I want to tell it that this is now Sega Genesis. Click next. Choose an emulator. Now at this point, if you've already got emulators set up in there, you should have a long list of all the different various different emulators that you've got going on. However, if you just want to use Rocket Launcher through this, or if you just set up Rocket Launcher like we just did, you should have now this populated in the drop down box. So I'm going to tell it to use each time we play a game from the system to launch them through Rocket Launcher. And the good thing about this is that it already knows how to do it because Rocket Launcher has already been using it on different front ends. So once that's done, click next. Now, would you like to move or copy the files? No, I don't. At this point, because I'm using the same rocket launcher stuff with all my different front ends, I don't want to move anything around. I want everything to stay as it is. I just want to use it from where it's at. So in this case, what I'll do is use the files from the current location. Would you like to download metadata for all your games? Yes, I would. I would like to do it for the games database made by a launch box. That is why we synced into the cloud and that is why we can now utilize this completely free, guys. You do not need to be a paid member. You just need to log in, basically. We've got next. Now, Launchbox itself has got all kinds of art and artifacts that it can utilize and give you on the fly. It will automatically download and sync them to your system. So there's no need to start hunting for boxes, themes, all that kind of good stuff. It's all done for you. You just have to basically tell it what you want to use for each system. Now, because this is uh, a demo, I'm just using this as a tutorial. I don't want to sit here for three hours where it downloads every bit of scrap of media from all around the world to <laughs> just show you how to set it up. So I'm just going to pick the the main one. So I want the front box, I want the box, uh, the 3D box. I don't want advertisements, don't want anything arcade because this is a console based system. Um, I'll keep the banner, cart front, I want that. Uh, clear logo, yes. Cart, we don't want disk because it's not a disk based system. Um, oh, keep all that, keep that. Don't want no screenshots, thank you. And that's good. Now, if you also synced up your MU movies, when you click on next, you'll get this. Would you like to download media from MU movies? Now, like I said, if you did that with the cloud and you've got everything synced up, you can also utilize all the art from there also. Now, if you are a free member, in other words, you've just got an account there, but you got it for free, I believe that you can sync all the artwork as much as you want. However, if you are a premium user you can also download all the movies that go with it so all the intro videos to show you the gameplay for each game as you're scrolling along you can download them at the highest quality that is available if you've got the free one i believe you can only add them yourself and that's at the lower quality so the options are still there to populate it all for free it's just that you know you get the better quality if you go for the premium you know they've got to pay for the servers i'm not here to judge that's for a different video and all that kind of stuff i'm just showing you how to do it guys so what do we want here um i don't want the advert well i'll go for the background and stuff i'll go for the box 3d i don't want no cabinet because it's a console cart 3d yeah don't want no cds don't want no controls this game over i'll keep the logos don't want manual don't want marquees don't need music. Got no idea where all this crap is, so let's get rid of it. I'll keep the snap. I'll keep the title. Yeah, we'll go for that. Uh, prioritize images over launch box. Yes, I will prior. No, I won't. I'll just live on the edge of my seat and hope that it all looks good at the end. And would you like to specify any custom options? No. It depends on your setup, what you want guys. Go through the various different options, go into detail, spend some time, have a look what you want, what you don't want. But for me, I'm just showing you how to set this up quickly. Okay, now what it'll do is it'll look all around your system. It'll find all the games that were within the folder that you pointed it to, which are all here. And it will try to match them up with all the names of the games that it can find in the databases. Now, if you've got a pretty much spot on uh, ROM folder with all your ROMs named properly then you should have no problems at this point I'm gonna trust it and I'm gonna go for it and I'm gonna click finish so now that's all done all you need to do is sit back and rocket launcher MU movies and any other 
I don't know, front ends or websites that you linked into this will take care of business for you. There's no need to start setting things up. There's no need to put things into folders, all that kind of good stuff. It's all done for you. That's how good the Launchbox program is. Simplicity wise, it's outstanding. And now we've enabled Rocket Launcher, we can get the more complicated systems actually up and running on our system. So sit back for a few minutes and let it do its business. Once it's done, you'll be greeted with something like this. Now, <laughs> I got impatient because this is just a tutorial this isn't my actual launch box setup I just wanted to show you how it works so basically I cancelled out once it did a few of the downloads and just to get it so you can see how it worked as you can see it's downloaded most of the art for it and most of the well not most of the games but a few of the games so you can peruse and see what's going on all it does is it utilizes rocket launcher so any systems that you've previously set up in rocket launcher it knows how to work them so because i don't know mega drive has been set up there before if i was to just double click on here come on I actually have to double click. <laughs> there you go. It actually launches the game for me, utilizing my already pre-configured rocket launcher settings. Takes it out of there. By the way, awesome game. Another world. If you haven't played it, complete it. It's well worth the hassle. So yeah, now everything is working. That's how easy it is to add rocket launcher to your launch box setup. And those of you who have had uh, rocket launcher already pre-configured with various other different systems you can now add them one by one down the side here now look forward because in the future I believe that this process will be obsolete before we know it because somebody out there I know of is actually uh, bringing out a program which will do this for you in other words it will read all the systems that you've already got pre-configured in rocket launcher and ship them straight over to launchbox so then it's just a case of telling launchbox what kind of art you want to download which systems you want to enable and sit back and wait for ages while it downloads everything for them and sets it all up for you so yeah that's it I don't want to ramble too long I've showed you how to do it you can now do this for your various other systems look forward in the future because I'm sure there'll be lots more different streamlined ways of doing this I'll update this as much as possible I'm also going to be bringing you rocket launcher tutorials starting from the scratch as in setting up rocket launcher from the very beginning getting all your systems enabled setting up the various configurations for different systems different emulators different kinds of setups different streamlined ways you want to run it so now you can run any front end with any of your rocket launcher profiles absolutely outstanding and mind-blowing oh we'll be up and running in seconds that's how good this scene is going so thank you very much for joining me guys please give your praise to the developers of this front end and of course all the others they've done outstanding work and please encourage anybody who develops more for the system if anybody can get this even more streamlined please do please also thank the rocket launcher guys because they have really helped and dug this one out they're the ones that enabled the actual launch box um, to be working the way it is is that even England I don't know but they've enabled that kind of setup anyway. Also, I've got a few uh, tickets or requests open over at Rocket Launcher forums, and I hope to get them replied soon to add even more functionality, not just to this front end, but to others. But that's it, guys. That's it for today's tutorial. Please like, please subscribe, please do the things that people normally do for all this kind of palaver. But most of all, guys, most of all, you have a good day. Laters!